Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Good evening, Commissioners. Um, I have several dates that I'm going to give you that we'll email out to all of you, but I think that the, the best way to, to sum up staff's efforts right now, um, we are very project and, and program oriented right now through the end of the year. Um, thank you again to everyone that made the ribbon cutting this morning at the fire department. Um, we've already gotten some really good comments from the community related to that. We had a fantastic um, participation from our department heads and it was great to see you all there. So one down, two to go. Um, remember that law enforcement has scheduled trick-or-treating for this Saturday evening, not Sunday. Um, also, the Christmas tree lighting has been scheduled for December the 3rd at 6 p.m. at the historic courthouse. You re may remember that last year we agreed to um, do a joint lighting with the city of Alvasta at the historic courthouse. And this year we were planning to do it on their lot that they're developing, but because their amphitheater project is held up right now, they're waiting on some steel. They have asked if we could come back to the historic courthouse. Um, Chad made sure that, that Robin and her team would have um, lighting and electricity for the exterior of the building through our selected demolition. So we're good to move forward with that. Also, if any of you are interested in walking through the historic courthouse, if you will let me know, we can schedule a walk through. Um, through the selected demolition, we found some treasures and some fantastic um, character in that building that we were not expecting to still be there. So if you'd like to see it, um, the weather's cooled off and it's not so hot to be in there, so please let us know. Um, we have a joint recycling event for electronics that's scheduled for November the 13th from 8 to 12 at the City Public Works Department. While the location is at the city, this event is open to the entire community inside and outside city limits. Um, we have provided a Connex box and we also, through our, um, our litter control money, pay for the disposal of those electronics. As you know, they can't go directly into the landfill. Um, also, I'm excited to announce that the Chamber and Lowndes County are co-sponsoring a Farmer of the Year uh, breakfast, and that is scheduled for December the 9th at 7.30 a.m. at the Civic Center. This is something we've been able to do or wanted to do for a long time. Um, now that we have, have fantastic staff with Ms. Barwick to help plan these events, and then Christy Moore and the Chamber, were, they were really excited to participate. We're inviting all of our local farmers, and they will be applying for some awards, and it should be um, a good first shot at that. Also, Ms. Black and her team have begun preparing budget packages for the upcoming year, so it's time to get started on the budget again. <clears throat> and the transmittal hearing for the comprehensive plan is scheduled for tomorrow evening at 5.30. This is required to be a public hearing. Um, and we will need a quorum here, um, but it should take only a few minutes. Um, Ms. Back with Regional Commission has already publicized the plan, um, so citizens that were concerned about changes to that comprehensive plan and future land use map um, have seen that there are no changes um, with the current consideration. So I don't think that meeting will last too long, and you all can hit the deal. That's it. Well, good report. Thank you. Any questions? I think we decided Lowndes and Eccles. Lowndes and Eccles. Lowndes and Eccles. Yes, we did. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we're also working with Georgia Grown. Um, so Beth and, and her team with the state will be a part of that. Um, so I think it, it will be, a good, again, a good first year, um, and we want to continue to do this every year and, and build on it. Um, we tried to find a time of the year that would be convenient and, and base that off of our farmer schedules and also the time of day that worked for them. So they're, they're all early risers, and, and you're probably going to get them in for breakfast, and they're going to have time to, that, to do that um, better as opposed to a dinner. So that's what we decided to do. Good. Any other questions? Okay. We've got a little more business to do. Business.